the sun keeps moving between the clouds and the sky, so we're gonna be working with a, not sure about the brightness, but uh, I think that's okay. Almost a year ago to the day, I sat down at the same table with the same project to talk honestly with you about some struggles I had been having, namely burnout and some issues with identity and creating. So it felt fitting to come back to you in the same fashion to give you a bit of an update, an overview of the last year and some things about moving forward. When I started this project a year ago, I did not know what was to become of that year, and I suppose nobody ever really does. We can have a lot of ideas and dreams and all these different paths that we plan on taking, but sometimes life throws a wrench in that kind of a thing. I know mine often does. And so now, a year later, with a year's worth of understanding, and a year of change, I feel like it is the right time to just kind of dig into it some. Last year when I sat down, I told you that I was struggling with burnout and I felt like I had a path forward to deal with it and heal from it. And for a time I was able to work on it, but it ultimately got the best of me. I didn't address it properly. And ultimately what I really needed was to take a break, not make all of these changes and keep pushing. I, I needed to let myself breathe and heal a little bit. So this winter in the midst of the darkness and the burnout and all of those things, I took a break, as you all know. Unfortunately, I wasn't very productive with it. I still kept pushing and thinking and not giving myself the space that I needed to to heal. And so every time I tried to start back up again after that break, I just was facing the same problems, the same burnout and the same lack of purpose that really had been what was driving the burnout the entire time. And so over the last month and really the last handful of weeks, I've been racking my brain, trying to understand what really has been in my way, what has been stopping me. Because ever since I moved across the country, I have felt really stuck and I've felt like I've been lacking a purpose. I shifted my life in ways that were unimaginable to me and have yet to find comfort in those shifts. I left a life that was everything I had ever known and changed it to something that is just so vastly different. And I know I've said this a million times and I'm repeating myself now, but it's incredibly difficult to make a change like that when you still don't necessarily want to make that change. So when I first moved here, I moved here to find a home, to continue living rurally in the ways that I love and the ways that make me feel happy. But I very quickly realized that that wasn't possible for me here. I can't afford it. And also the lack of community that I had when I first got here the loneliness got the best of me. And so I moved into a living situation that I thought would be extremely temporary, but has turned out to be far less temporary than I had originally hoped or planned. And so I became even more stuck. And instead of making the best of that situation, I have spent most of my time looking forward to the time ahead where I hoped to go back to living in the ways that I find most fulfilling. The purpose that I had found in my life previously was based on living rurally, and I've been continuing to try to live that way since I left, but it's not possible to live a rural life without living rurally. There are aspects that I can include, but they aren't the same, and that's okay. And I've been trying to spend time appreciating where I am now and that this is where I'm going to be. I have some plans, I have some things in the works to get back. I am always going and looking at property that I can afford at houses and spaces that are in my price range, but unfortunately where I live, that means they don't have a uh, functional bathroom, never do they have running water, and only occasionally are they hooked up to electricity. Sometimes you're lucky and you have a generator. The housing market is unbelievable out here and 
it is really hard to afford anything in the country and even when I can, they get snatched up really quickly with cash offers and things that I just can't do. So I've spent this time reaching for this place where I have forever had purpose and comfort instead of trying to find purpose in the space that I have now. And that's fed all of this burnout, all of these issues with identity and comfort. It's hard to be the person that you know when so much of what makes you that person is inaccessible or only accessible in small bursts. So this is a long rambling way of saying I have been racking my brain for purpose. I had an aha moment the other day of what it is and what it can be and something that I am just as excited about and will bring me just as much meaning and hopefully something that will be just as exciting for you as well. So while I am not where I want to be forever, I am here and I want to make the best of it and I want to work on things that are feasible within this space instead of pushing for things that aren't and burning myself out trying to access a life that I just can't have right now. So instead of reaching, I'm gonna start funneling my energy into rebuilding my herbal business and all of the other things that bring me a lot of joy. Some of you that have been here for a while will have known that I used to have an herbal business. These are those of you who were here early, early days prior to the pandemic, which is not a lot of you. I used to run a business that I only really sold a couple of times a year at markets. I'd set up a table with all of these creations that I'd been working on for the past couple of months over the course of the year. Things were kind of always in the works and I would sell twice a year at large chunks of things and that would be a good portion of my income. I never had anything online and when the pandemic hit, this kind of fell apart because I couldn't sell in person at my markets anymore and I didn't have anything online. Now I've been thinking about this for a long time and putting a lot of energy into it over the last year, dreaming up ideas, working on building concoctions and things to sell, but I haven't put all of my energy into it. It's been something that's just been on the back burner, a side thought for future me. And well, decided that future me is me right now. And I'm really looking forward to beginning this again. I don't think that I will sell in person, at least not for a time. And there's still so much to figure out to be able to do this. I wanna put it online. I don't even know where to begin to do that. I have some ideas and I have some things started but there's still a process there. But ultimately, I feel like this is a really fun project to take you along with me on and to bring you along on the experiments, the trying new things, the showing you the things that I used to sell and trying to revamp them some because I've had some new ideas. But I've been a student of herbalism for many, many years now, maybe over a decade now. And I have a lot of learnings and a lot of things that I think I can share. And I want to be able to gift these things to you all and give you spaces to utilize it in your daily lives easily and also just to have a little bit of fun. It has always been a dream of mine to have an herbal business running constantly, not just something that is for markets and little things here and there. And I feel like this is a good project to do while I'm living in a space that isn't exactly what I want, but is a space that can be a jumping off point for something like this. There are a lot of things that I need to think about before I can really build it. Uh, ultimately, the funding of it is a big thing. There's a lot of uh, upfront capital that needs to happen in order for it to launch. And so I think it will begin kind of small and slowly build over time, maybe selling my artwork or making t-shirt designs with those things first to help fund the buying of the ingredients and materials that I'll need to really start building the apothecary section. And maybe it starts with small batch things. I, uh, it's all sort of ideas that I will bring you along with me on as I discover it. I don't want to bore you with all of this now, but I feel like it would be a really fun journey to go on with you and fun thing to explore. Now, this 
isn't really going to change a lot of things beyond giving me a main thread to continue working on and sharing with all of these videos here. But it's not the only thing of importance to me. One of the biggest and most important things to me in my life is being connected to nature and connecting to nature. And while I live in a very beautiful state with a lot of beautiful nature, I feel like I haven't been able to get out enough as of late. Having done uh, two moves myself and two moves amongst my friends lately, it's just been a very busy, busy time. And I feel like I'm finally getting a few moments back to go and spend the time that I need to in the spaces that I love. So there will still be many explorations of nature, not to mention many of my passions surround foraging and crafting food from wild edibles and making medicine from wild medicinals. Those are things that aren't gonna go away and things that I would like to be doing more of. Not to mention those kinds of things can feed into the building of this business. I wanna make sure everything I do is ethical and sustainable, but I can do a lot of small scale experiments from the things that I can find myself and then find better ways to access them or do small scale things, it's a whole thing. Anyways, I will delve into these boring things on my own, but nature is still a core aspect of my life and something that I, when I can, I will spend the majority of my time engaging with. So even though lately it's only been short visits, I fully intend on spending the vast majority of my time in the woods. And of course, I will share this beautiful place with you, along with all of the wild foods and medicines that I am crafting with, because it is finally time to access all of these things. I mean, here we are now working on Lilac Perfume, a project I started last year, but I uh, wasn't able to finish in the way that I wanted to, and so I am working on it again. There are a lot of beautiful things you can do with lilac, and as the bushes have been in full bloom, I'll be working a lot with them in the time to come. But beyond nature, beyond making medicine and food with plants, and continuing to build and maintain my apothecary, something that I will take you along on some very big workings to prepare for it for winter. I did some of that last year, but None of it lasted in the way that I wanted to, and so this year we'll be working a lot more. But anyways, beyond that, I would really like to work on sharing more of my art and some of my other passions, like sewing and knitting. The last couple of days I have been sewing these skirts, and they aren't done. I came up with this idea in my head, and I will not be able to show you fully, but I've been really loving them. There's something that are a little flowier and softer for summer, and uh, I'll share the pattern with you maybe in the next video once I get it fully fleshed out. But there are a lot of things that bring my life a lot of joy and fulfillment that are more accessible in this way of life that I have right now that I'd like to share with you. And so I'm going to, and I need to redefine my purpose a bit from trying to desperately find a home and live rurally. Something that I will still continue to do, but is not going to define all of my purpose right now because it's just not as easily in reach to what I can do. I feel really good and really excited about the time ahead. I hope you are also excited. Really a lot of it will be far more crafting of herbal medicine and general just useful things. I also really want to get more into making perfumes. I've found that to be a very exciting thing lately. It's something that's piqued my interest. Yeah, just a ton of different things. This is all stuff I'll delve into more in the videos to come and I promise that I will balance it well with other things so you won't just watch a boring video of me trying to figure out a business because I don't think that's very exciting, but it means a lot to me to be able to have something that is a common path forward and this feels like a really good one. So thank you for being here. I have no idea what the future is to hold. I never will, but it does feel exciting right now and I am very grateful to have you here along on that journey. So I hope you're doing well and I cannot wait to see you soon.